You're watching history being made live on television. The Pragyan Rover. Pragyan in Sanskrit means wisdom, means knowledge. So the Pragyan Rover is now coming out of the Vikram lander. We'll show you those first images. The Pragyan Rover will explore the lunar surface for the next 14 days. 14 Earth days, one lunar day. Now, the logo of the Indian Space Research Organization and the Ashok emblem, the Ashok lion, that symbol of India, will be imprinted on lunar surface forever. They will be on the six wheels of this 26 kilogram weighing rover of the Chandrayaan. I quickly want to bring in India Today's Rajchingappa, Group Editorial Director, publishing Rajchingappa FOMO on this Raj India scripted history. We are showing those first images of Pragyan rover coming out of the Vikram lander. Raj, this is history. The next 14 days will actually change the way we look at moon. Uh, Gaurav, this is how successful this Chandrayaan 3 has been. The main mission was to soft land in the South Pole. That has been accomplished. And now we have this very exciting development that has happened soon after the landing. We had expected it to happen six, seven, eight hours later. It's happened within two, three hours of the landing, which shows just how well the landing site was and the fact that not too much dust and regolith had been kicked up by the lander and that everything is stable for it to roll out so quickly. Now, what is the rover going to do? As you mentioned, it's 26 uh, uh, kgs in weight. It's about three feet by 2.8 feet, uh, uh, slightly larger than a table that you're seeing. And the, it moves very slowly, something like 30 meters per hour. It's one <laughs> centimeter per second, but uh, because it and, and can move to a distance about uh, 500 meters and come, 150 meters and come back uh, from the uh, from the lander. It communicates with the lander, and, and they equipped with it are a couple of experiments which okay. will study the moon surface. The so lander let's also take step by step, Raj. Sorry? Let's take this step by step. It has three payloads. Tell us about Rambha, uh, because everyone's very curious, what are these three payloads on board the Pragyan rover and what will they study on moon? Let's begin with Rambha. Well, you know, I'm not getting into the too many of the scientific details because these are, you know, the, the acronyms. I'll have to take the, the, the pamphlet and look, you know, to spell it out scientifically. But let me just make it very simple. Essentially, no one has really studied the south pole of the moon. We now have a rover sitting over there sifting through the regolith and finding out what is the moon surface made of. Why is that important? Because at the end of the day, the South Pole is seen as most favorable for having water ice that we could finally colonize. So what we are doing with the rover are experiments to see what the surface of the, you know, what is the composition of this uh, surface? What is the kind of text, uh, you know, texture that has? So each of the three experiments that have been done, including a laser probe that goes down and shatters uh, the regolith to see how, uh, you know, finally it will uh, disintegrate and what are the kind of uh, chemicals that or uh, components that would come out of it uh, on this one. And let's not also forget the lander is simultaneously doing experiments. One of those experiments that the lander is doing, even as it sits quietly and communicates with the rover, is to study seismic activity in the moon. Why is that important? We really don't know. We know that moon is hammered regularly by meteorites because it has no atmosphere like us to burn down any of the even the tiny guys they come and hammer the moon they create giant craters if they're big and we want to know how stable that atmosphere is because when we put down a colony over there and if there is a seismic activity and it shakes the whole thing so that, that that's one of the things that we look at second is we really don't know you know we know that the temperature of the moon can go as high as 127 degrees centigrade which is higher than the boiling point of water and yes. drop precipitously to uh, minus uh, uh, 170 degrees, which is twice the cold of Antarctica, which means that that's why this 14 days is so critical. If you don't get this window, you're out. But imagine if you have to live there right through. So one of the things is to study the variations from what the temperatures on the soil versus what is it below. So uh, one of the things that the lander will do is that there are other very interesting sort of experiments that they are trying. Actually, what's uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, the the uh, second part of the mission that the rover is rolling, let's uh, hope and we, you know, I'm sure the uh, ISRO team is very confident, is the first time we're doing something like this. I think that's also history. And the world is watching. The world is watching. History is being made 